Okay, on to our third and final in this budge proof makeup series. I'm here to show you how to get budge proof lips. Now you wanna start with completely dry lips. So I'm taking off that lip conditioner that I had on previously and I'm grabbing my beauty sponge that I had used earlier, which has a little bit of remaining foundation on it. This is the perfect amount to just blot onto your lips just to cancel out any pigmentation that you have naturally. Now, this might not be for everyone and I'm here to tell you that unfortunately to have budge proof lips, you need to start with dry lips. So I'm taking a little bit of loose powder with a powder puff and I am thoroughly coating these lips, making sure that they are completely dry. Now onto lip liner. Lip liner, of course, is completely crucial to having budge-proof lips. So going in initially and lining my lips with Oak Lip Liner from MAC, I'm drying this on, but I'm keeping my mouth subtly open with a very soft, I guess kind of half smile is what you would call this. <laughs> it's a little bit of a smirk, but the reason why you wanna do this is because it's going to give you some tension, the kind of tension that you need so that your liner doesn't tug when you're applying it. Now, if my lips were closed, I'd have a much harder time because this lip liner would skip and tug as it was going across my lips. But since I've created that little bit of tension and tightness by opening my mouth and having a soft bit of a smile, this is exactly why I need to have this lip liner go on nice and smooth. Now, here's where I want you to take note of the application technique. I'm holding my liner off to the side, so it's gonna give me a much smoother application as opposed to if I went in with the pointed edge of this lip liner, I would get a lot of tug marks and I would get an uneven application of this color. By holding it off to the side, I'm allowed to, it's allowing me to shade the inner part of my lip, which is gonna act as a base and a primer for their lipstick to go on top. Now, when you want a budge proof lip, the formula that you choose for your lipstick is absolutely crucial. And I could say that again, because it's just so, so important to your lipstick lasting all day long. Now, of course, I could have just gone and grabbed a liquid lipstick, which we all know those tend to stay put through thick and thin, but that would have been cheating. So instead, I want to show you how to get a budge proof lip by using a more matte finish, traditional bullet lipstick, which you know, these are not long wearing, they're not a liquid lipstick. So you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to keep these on your lips, especially to have them be budge proof. This is from Givenchy and this is going to be more of a matte finish lipstick. So I'm starting with one thin layer on the top and the bottom. Now I want you to take note one more time with the application of this lipstick. The technique that I'm using is really pushing this onto my lips and stippling it on to make sure that it is sticking and really going to be locked into place and locked on top of that lip liner rather than going back and forth and creating just overall too much product on the lips. I'm just pushing it on and getting a thin amount that's nice and secure. Now, once that first layer of lipstick is done, I'm grabbing a loose powder from Makeup Forever. It's the HD powder and a small blending brush. I'm taking a small amount of this powder and this is where it might get a little uncomfortable for some, but trust me, if you want your lipstick to be budge proof, lock it into place and set it with a little bit of translucent powder. Once that's done, go in with one finishing layer of lipstick and lightly apply it. And it's the same thing, just like you did with your foundation, you set it with powder, same thing with your lips. You wanna lock it down with a little bit of powder and that's gonna make them smudge proof and budge proof. There will be no feathering, no transfer with this technique and you'll have lipstick that stays put through thick and thin. Thank you so much for watching part three on how to get budge proof lips. I had so much fun filming these videos for you all. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss my future videos. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Makeup by Nicola Rose and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.